let's calculate the equation we are looking at. We can see that it is an irrational equation because we have the x inside of a square root. Therefore, as we only have one square root, our purpose is to isolate the square root. In our case, to isolate this, the root, let's move the x to the other side of the equal. We would have minus the square root of x plus 1 equals 1 minus x. Now, we have to raise to the power of 2 the whole equation. But be careful, once we've raised to 2, the answers of the equation can change. So when we get to them, we have to check if they fulfill the equation we were given. So we have minus the square root of x plus 1 squared equals 1 minus x squared. Now, on the left, we have plus x plus 1. On the right side, the first term is squared plus the second term squared minus 2 times the first times the second term. Let's move this x and the 1 to the other side. So 0 equals 1 plus x squared minus 2x minus x minus 1. That's 0 equals x squared minus 3x. This equation is really easy to solve. We just have to find the common factor, x, as there is no independent term. So we have the product of two things equals zero. That means the first equals zero or the second equals zero. From x minus 3 equals 0, we obtain that x is equals 3. This way we found two solutions for the equation, x equals 0 and x equals 3. But, as I said before, these are the solutions for the equation squared. To find out if there are also possible solutions for the original equation, we have to substitute them in the given equation. If we substitute x equals 0, we have 0 minus the square root of 0 plus 1. That is 0 minus the square root of 1, 0 minus 1, minus 1. Is that equals 1? No. So x equals 0 is not a solution for the given equation. Let's try with x equals 3. That's 3 minus the square root of 3 plus 1. 3 minus the square root of 4. That is 3 minus 2 equals 1. As it is equals 1, x equals 3 is the only solution for the given equation.